Just to demonstrate with a quick video what's the difference between Cine EI and flexible ISO, for example. In order to do this, I have to reshoot everything. Hold on. This is basically just a quick video about the difference between flexible ISO and uh, Cine EI for Sony FX30 and other similar Sony cameras. So, as I said previously, the benefit of Cine EI is that we maintain the dynamic range of 15 stops or, or whatever Sony camera offers us, but we are able to shift the ratio between the highlights and shadows. While if you are using flexible ISO and you are just exposing to the right or open up the uh, aperture, but you're not exposing middle gray correctly, you're not going to maintain the same dynamic range. And this is huge. This is absolutely huge. It's a huge, absolutely difference. So, for example, uh, I'll just show you the uh, settings of, of my camera. And as you can see, if we go into log shooting settings, at the moment, I'm going to change it to Cine EI. And that's all nice and dandy. Base ISO is 800. And let's apply the principles that we talk. For the moment, I'm just going to turn on the uh, false colors as well, just to understand uh, better what is happening. So for the moment, let's say I want to emphasize on the shadows, so I'm just going to use an exposure index that is lower than the base ISO, and that will need to be followed immediately by a change of aperture. So, as you can see, if you look carefully at the highlights and at the first false color code that happens in the highlights, we are still getting all the information. There is nothing clipped, and we have we have different shades of of yellow. So we have highlights between 78 and 93, according to Ninja 5. Uh, if we turn off false color display, this is how the image looks like. Uh, we gain a little bit into the shadows information compared to. For example, if I'm going to reset the camera to the to the previous settings, which was f8 and ISO uh, 800, and then we turn on the false color, as you can see, uh, now we are seeing less into the shadows. You can see how here on the curtains and where the TV is in this particular area, uh, the, the shadows basically are much more uh, deeper and uh, with less details. So that has been uh, sorted. Now, if we are going back into the lock shooting settings, and instead of Cine EI, we're going to use flexible ISO and let's see what will happen if we simply go into open the aperture with two stops so let's say we are going to have an aperture now of, of f4 you can clearly see on the false color map that the highlights are almost completely blown out we are losing a lot of details so by simply exposing to the right or by simply opening up the aperture it's not the same thing of using Cine EI and shifting the balance between highlights and shadows. If we turn off the uh, false color, the shadows may look potentially cleaner uh, because we are bringing more light on the sensor. But look how blown out the image is compared to what we had uh, when we are shooting in uh, flexible ISO and we are uh, shifting the exposure index. I hope that was a very clear example. And again, I have to say that it's a pity that we do not have Cine EI for Sony A7S III, for example, because, uh, you know, the benefits are absolutely there. Yet again, you know, it is what it is, but Cine EI is a very powerful tool and uh, basically can save your bacon in many circumstances. I hope that helped. See you in the next video.